family, I got catfished in New York City. Welcome to another edition of Body by Tommy. If you like this content and you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for future notifications. If you like the content, you want to leave a comment, whether you agree or disagree, leave a comment. And don't forget to click on that like button while you're at it. That way you can see more videos just like this uploaded each and every week. Ladies. Gentlemen, guess what? I got catfished in New York City. Oh my God! Me, out of all people, being catfished right here in New York City. Now they say there's 8 million stories in the naked city. This is going to be 8 million and 1. I was on a dating site. Some shorty hit me up. And when she hit me up, she said, hey, why don't we get together? Now, let's check out her stats. She's, according to this, she's 5'5". Five five. She didn't tell me her weight, but she said she's a little on the curvy side. Okay, I can deal with that. She has a high school diploma. She works at Target, but she tries to spell it Target. It gets better. She's looking for a man between 5'8 and 6'2, well built, great job, and with a college education. I'm like, you know what? I fit that description. Let's see what we can do. So we decided to meet out of all places, New York City. I love the city. Let's go meet up. So I'm walking down the street, minding my business. And guess what? I see this woman going like this. So I'm thinking it's one of my fans. So I'm doing the same thing. It turned out it was my date. It wasn't the woman in the profile. It was HR Puffin Stuff. <laughs> That's right. She looked like HR Puffin Stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Ay. She had this big old round head, these big bulging eyes, stomach out the hair, and a huge tail. Now, what I don't understand, you have a picture on your profile, it looks nothing like what you look like in person, and if you're lying about your looks and your weight and your height, what difference does it make? Because when I meet you in person, I'm going to see the real you anyway. This is why... Women, you got to take care of yourself. You got to watch out your weight. You got to watch what you put in your stomach, what you put in your mouth. And you got to watch out in terms of what you wear. Now, what did she have on? She was a size 24. Stomach out to here. Her shirt barely reached the bottom of her pants. Now, you're on a date. First impressions is the first thing people look at. And you're going to come outside the house looking like that. So I was like, you know what? I made it this far. Let me go eat because I'm starving. So we go to this restaurant and I said, get whatever you want. I don't care at this point. Get what you want. I don't care. I'll pay for it. I'm on a date. I'm the gentleman. Just get what you want. Why did she order everything that was on the menu. Then we sitting there having a nice time talking. She was having a nice time talking. And again, dress is everything. So not only did the shirt come up to here, it was a cut off shirt. So she goes like this to stretch. And when she's going like this to stretch, yes, Tina Turner was underneath her arms. She had so much hair underneath her arms. She needed to make an appointment with Lady Schick. Stand back. I'll shave you. You cannot make this up. I mean, it gets even better. 
Then she finished her meal, and all of a sudden, I hear, Burp! She burped so loud, it sounded like a tugboat. She burped so loud, it stung up the whole restaurant. Good thing I had my trusty, rusty gas mask on hand. So ladies, at the end of the day, if you're overweight, say you're overweight. If you're five foot one, say you're five foot one. If you this, if you that, just be honest. But most important, put a picture of yourself, not of your hot 19 year old daughter, like she did in this picture. Just be yourself, you will get further, and you will go places with men. You will get more dates, cause you're being honest with yourself. Most of you women are in the four walls, the phone is sitting on the counter, and you're doing what? Ring, ring. But it's not ringing if you're not being honest, women. Stop this catfish foolishness. It makes no sense, cause when we meet in person, we're gonna see you anyway. So stop it. It's tired and it doesn't make sense. But my date with HR Puff and stuff was a date to remember. Coming up next is going to be an Aruba workout by the pool. And ladies, just don't watch the workout. Do it. It's for your own good. Welcome to another edition of Body by Tommy. We are on the beautiful island of Aruba and notice the background, the clear, crystal clear turquoise water and the white sandy beaches. We're gonna do an aerobic stretch or should I say a pre-aerobic stretch. If you haven't, check out my Instagram, Body by Tommy. That's body underscore by underscore Tommy. So we're just shaking the legs out and we're just gonna keep your breathing as low as possible. So we're going to a squat position. Just breathe into the stretch. Take five seconds, breath in, hold it and slowly release. And when you release your breath, just relax and just feel your inside, your core getting calm because everything is about your core. So when I get up, I'm gonna stretch it out and we're gonna go right into another stretch. So you're gonna squat all the way down, breathe in five seconds and slowly release and just concentrate on your breathing. Okay, you're gonna slowly get up and you're just gonna make your breathing as calm and as slow as you can. So you're gonna go to the next stretch. Just relax. You're gonna go into a reverse lunge Keep your back as tight and as straight as possible and keep your head up. Slowly get up. You're gonna shake out your legs. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite leg. So you're gonna go into the reverse lunge position. Keep your core tight, your back straight, and your head up. Slowly get up. You're gonna shake out the legs again. Make sure your breathing is slow 
and keep your mind and your body and the breathing calm. What we're going to do now, we're going to go into a stretch. Your legs are going to be wider than shoulder width apart and your fingertips is going to barely touch the ground. Once again, concentrate on your breathing. Now you're gonna bring it over to the right leg. Concentrate on the stretch. Concentrate on your breathing. Now we're gonna bring it to the opposite leg. Concentrate on the stretch once again and make sure your core is tight. Now you're gonna bring it over to the center. Concentrate on the stretch. And get up slowly. Great, good job. Make sure your breathing is slow. So we're gonna shake out the legs once again. So your feet are gonna be slightly wider and shoulder width apart. Your arms are gonna be out to the side. Keep your core tight. Stretch all the way up, core tight. Slowly bend over, your fingertips are gonna barely touch the ground and keep your knees slightly bent. Slowly get up, keep your core tight, hands straight up. Breathe slowly. Put your arms to the side, keep the core tight, breathe slowly. You're gonna keep your arms behind you. Your core remains tight. Your arms are out to the side once again. Concentrate on your breathing. Arms up in the air above your head. Tell me what you feel about the stretch and tell me if you like the background view of Aruba. Leave a comment in the comment section below and as always, Happy training.